Hey guys, it's Savannah and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. If you guys haven't already, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below. It would mean so much to me. And also don't forget to follow me on my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I am SLIT on Instagram and Twitter and Dear Savannah on Snapchat. You can always find that information right over here. And yes, let's just go ahead and get on started with today's video. So a little quick disclaimer. I know I am a little bit teeny bit extra today. Um, as I am filming this, it is July 4th, and if you are from the States, you know that July 4th is Independence Day. Yes, so I have a party to go to later, and that is why I am like, hashtag USA right now. But yeah, so um, let's just go ahead and talk about the mascara now. So the mascara I'm going to be talking about today is the new Revlon Mega Multiplier Mascara. I saw this in a display at my Target, and it was new, so I knew I had to pick it up and try it out for you guys. So this is what the packaging to this mascara looks like. It's just exactly like all of the other Revlon mascaras that have the colored cap, except this one is in a teal color, which I absolutely love. I have it in the color black, and it is not waterproof. I know they do make this in a waterproof formulation, but when I went to go pick it up, they didn't have a waterproof one available, so I just opted to get the normal formulation just to try it out for you guys. Moving on to the brush to this mascara, it just has a simple cone shaped brush, nothing too out of the ordinary. I don't mind this brush shape, so yeah. Hopefully I will enjoy this mascara and let's just go ahead and get on started with the demo. So to start off, I've already curled my lashes. I kind of extra curled my lashes today because this mascara isn't waterproof. So just in case my curl drops, it won't drop that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my first coat of the Revlon Mega Multiplier Mascara now. So this is what my lashes look like after one coat of the mascara and so far the mascara is pretty dry so it's not weighing my lashes down but it's not necessarily adding a lot of volume or thickness. Um, as far as lengthening and separation goes, it is quite separating but um, lengthening wise it's doing an okay job. I'm going to go ahead and apply another coat of this mascara and see how well it layers. So this is what my lashes look like after two coats of the mascara and after two coats I do like it a lot better than with just one coat. I think this mascara is something that you do need to build on. I do enjoy the fact though that even though it isn't waterproof it is holding my curl pretty well. So for the pros and cons to the Revlon Mega Multiplier Mascara. The pros are that it does layer really nicely on itself. It holds my curl, although it's not a waterproof mascara. And I can see it being a really nice layering mascara if you were to use it with a more volumizing mascara. The formulation on this mascara is actually a little bit drier than most non-waterproof mascaras, and I think that is why it doesn't weigh down my lashes because it's not heavy on my lashes. Um, it doesn't deposit a lot of product on your lashes either so that is why I say it needs to be built up if you want to get more volume and more thickness and fullness when you use this mascara. So moving on to the cons of this mascara, this mascara is unfortunately not something that I would use alone. I would have to go in with another mascara while using this one as well because the finished look that this gives my lashes isn't the look that I'm personally going for. It's a little bit too subtle, it's a little bit too natural for my liking. I like really big, voluminous, long, luscious lashes and this one just kind of doesn't cut it for me. I have to layer it with another mascara. Um, that could be a pro or a con. If you like more natural lashes, if you like something that's not going to be so in your face all the time, then this might be something that you guys might want to pick up. Like I said, this mascara doesn't have too many cons for me. It's not a bad mascara, but it's definitely not my all-time favorite by any means or anything like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave me any other mascara requests down below in the comment section because I would love to go ahead and grab them and review them for you guys. 
If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, make sure you leave them down all in the comment section below for me. Don't forget to also subscribe if you enjoyed this video and follow me on my other social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I am SLET on Instagram and Twitter and Dear Savannah on Snapchat. You can always find that information right over here. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe because it would make me very happy and my heart all fuzzy. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.